We tend to be upset when we notice that there are people eager or even addicted to power or money. But do you realize there are also people that are born with a lot of money, wealth, or with power, and they're not addicted? And of course, I agree. <laughs> I join you in fulminating in those who are addicted to money and power, because it means control. But do you know your own addictions? And I'm not talking about the addiction to shopping or sugar or gambling or what else do we have? Drinking, drugs. I'm talking to about addictions that we're not familiar with. You can be addicted to being a victim. You can be addicted to certain relationships like being in an abusive relation. You can be addicted to poverty. You can be addicted to being on the road all the time. You can be addicted to staying in the shadow, not showing yourself. See if you can find where you're addicted to, because when you find that addiction, when you Acknowledge it and say, okay, do I still want to continue being addicted to this? Set yourself free by allowing it to change. And I cannot tell you what the effect is if you let the addiction go, because it will be a surprise, because it will be a big difference. But it will have an effect. And enjoy it, whatever comes. And by you allowing yourself to set, be set free from your addictions, no matter which addiction it is. You allow yourself to become more you, a free human person. And by doing so, you really higher the frequency of the morphogenetic field we share. And that has a value, more than you can realize when you're addicted. So see if you can find your addiction, look in the mirror, and then set yourself free. It may take time. Be patient. Honor your addiction, because it brought you where you are right now, with you.